I used to sort of know people that were part of the modding community for this game on the PC. And they really got a lot out of this game years upon years after playing it. I could believe it. I mean, it was, um... There was, like... There's, like, Xbox Live. There was actually, like, co-op and stuff. Like, I don't know if co-op was straight up in the game at one point. But here's what the Xbox version was like. Yeah. Yeah. Until, like, Left 4 Dead came along and nobody cared anymore. Yeah. But... Left 4 Dead just blew it all away. <laughs> It, it was like it, it was like they had an established society, and once Left 4 Dead came around, that entire so, so, fuck, that entire society came crashing to the ground, and it fell apart. And they just had to create their own little community to survive. Yeah. Against. It's really telling. It is. They needed to stick together to survive the horde. Of Left 4 Dead fans. Exactly. So, you want to know how I got here? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my story. It all started like this. I just finished feeding the hogs when the power went out. And that happens from time to time out here in the country. I tried calling the electric company, but the lines were dead. And I didn't think too much of it at the time. Later that day, I noticed a stranger in my yard. Something wasn't right with him. The way he was just standing there. I went out to see what he wanted. We got a zombie entering the room. Oh, shit. They're coming! <laughs> Find out what the stranger wants with my two fists drawn in the air. <laughs> You successfully boarded up the zombie. Okay. This is weird, but uh, right trigger is punch. Uh huh. With the left hand. Yeah. And B is punch with the right hand. Okay. That's fine. Hey, what's gonna happen? <sighs> oh my god. That man was a zombie. New objective. New objective. Try to give a fuck. This is objective a... failed. <laughs> All right. Fine. Look at this pathing. Um. Fuck. Ah, I can't make sense of this. Oh, I'm already in there. The question I have is, did the zombie follow me all the way? Okay, B is no longer melee. Okay. He stopped? You'd think that one would do it. That's what it's supposed to be. Put a bullet in their brain and they die. Oh, yeah. Four shots anywhere will do them in. Yeah. You've only got three bullets left. <laughs> Get your gun from the shit! Oh, well. I like that. It's like, fuck! <laughs> this music is way too creepy. Wait, no, I think that is the shed, because there was a door there. Oh. Oh. God damn You gotta get the shed key from the... <laughs> w wouldn't I know that if I live here? Yeah, you'd think so. I mean, what... <laughs> the question really is, why would you keep your shed key in your basement? <sighs> For God's sakes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is stupid. It's such a great game. That he's good. I mean, I'll be hop away, but yeah. 
<laughs> okay, good. Hey, look, a medical kit. Oh, I gotta find this key. Where's the key? There. There you go. I can see them clipping through that. Yep. Hammer? Yeah. 22. My nom, my 22, whatever you want to call it, fool. <laughs> I like how it's from the strangers. Yeah. From these strangers who you don't know. Who are ransacking your property very slowly. <laughs> don't remember which one I shot. Apparently it was that one. Or maybe that's just a stronger gun. Oh! Range. I, th I think it has to do with range. Oh. Like, the farther away I shoot them, I think they're... Fuck. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ow! <laughs> the strangers. It was them or me. The poor devils looked like they fell in a septic tank and festered for a few days. I'd never killed no one before, so I sure was real spooked. I decided to head over to my neighbors across the cornfield. I just didn't feel safe hanging around here all by myself. I just didn't feel safe in my house with the doors. I decided to go to the cornfield. <laughs> yeah, I decided to go through the cornfield. Sir, how hard me, sir? You have no business doing this. All right. Oh. <laughs> Hold on there, fella. <laughs> he does whatever a spider can. You see. See, that's that's like what Spider-Man would be if he was actually like like a spider. A spider. <laughs> he just crawl. Yo, I know you really want to hit what? your what? You just bit me, I think. I know you want to hit your combos and all, but you've got to take the reset and run. Fuck you. I'm gonna hit yeah. your butt with a hammer until you die of being hammered in the ass. <laughs> then Abraham Lincoln died of being hammered in the ass. Is this like a maze for children or something? It looks a lot like it. Because nobody stacks their hay like this. No. And why are you going through the maze? Is that the only path? It must be. <laughs> yeah. It's got dreads. I know, sir. <laughs> the Buster Rhyme zombie is not on your side. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look at all like Buster Rhymes. Which is a disappointment. Buster Rhymes. That is why he must die. <laughs> yeah. Look, you zombie. You should have looked more like Buster Rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's now in the rules of engagement in the army. It's just like, alright, if the target does not look like Buster Rhymes, weapons free. Like, actually. Having this to... game seems like there would be a place you could get, like, get out of the map and just like skip half the level. Yeah. Anyone from Undead Games Forum, let me know. Oh. Whoa! Hi, lady. Okay. I really hope I'm not like, walking backwards into anyone. Where are these people coming from, too? This is a really oh, yeah, out of nowhere, a really rural... populated fucking cornfield. It's a fair point. Oh no! As long as there's nobody behind me, I'm in pretty good shape, though. I think I hear more things. Okay. Sick combos. It's my B and B. I never fuck it up. Right. 
like over in that Hold on, graveyard. I need to, okay. Maybe they're coming out of the graves, and maybe there's a big graveyard here. I yeah. guess that makes sense. That would make sense. And if they're like if they, this if they're is the, the uh... little graveyard area. Yeah. <laughs> Press action for medical attention. To to get medical attention from yourself. Revolver ammo, sweet. Did I see something about a radio, or did I j just mix a bunch of words together? Oh, no, I saw it. Okay. She's such a flake. Okay. It just like a gang incident? I guess. Was this a better melee weapon? A shovel? That what this is gonna be? I mean... Yes. How could a shovel not be great? Yeah. Okay. He's good. He's clean. <laughs> <laughs> that was my ocular pat down. I cleared him. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, I believe that one is called a downward dog. <laughs> my doggy, my doggy, fly than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Any game with ragdoll physics by <laughs> okay. has this oh. happen eventually. It's perfect. Cuz that's kind of the You're looking whole for idea. Your neighbors. The what? You're looking for your neighbors. Yeah, yeah. You probably are inside the house. If I was your neighbor, I would be inside the house. Hello? Is anybody home? <laughs> My neighbors were dead. I, didn't I could tell with was the blood, on, no. <laughs> and I was scared to death. Reports of violence are coming in from neighboring states. We're unsure at this moment what to make of the situation. The governor is telling everyone to stay in their homes and has issued a... Uh, one moment, folks. Something has just come across my desk. I'm getting reports that the... I'm having trouble reading this bulletin. But I've been told this has been confirmed by official sources. It appears that the dead are coming back to life and eating the flesh of the living. <laughs> this is unbelievable news we're hearing. Uh, I, for one, am truly shocked. For those of you tuning in, this is not a joke. Something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. No reporter would ever say it like that. Yeah. It would be more like, something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Horribly wrong. <laughs> Secure the area. Secure the LZ. Secure the Renaudi. You. Get no scoped. I think the dead are coming back to life. This was on Fatty Fatty Fat Fat. <laughs> Hitting bikes in the face. <laughs> yeah. And you keep getting up. Why? Just stay down. Stay Just tap down. out. You gotta know when to fold. Yeah. Main Street Swag. I got that Main <clears throat> Street Swag. Really, you'd be best off staying put. You're on a farm, and there can't be that many more human yeah. beings. If there were that many in a farm, think of how many would be in a city. Yeah. I did what the man on the TV well, like, said. Probably just killed like as long as I could. Oh, everybody that explains why. Huh? Okay, but those corpses were coming. The shortwave radio said that the military had some safe houses set up in the city. I was running low on supplies and starting to go crazy all by myself. I had nothing to lose. 
Except for all that corn. <laughs> Well, it's probably before harvest. Roads everywhere. You could still eat it. I didn't know where to go. Yeah. It would still provide some nutrition. I guess. At the very least, he could uh could have rationed his meat by adding in some corn. Yeah. Yeah, he could. Also, we're playing as Hank Hill. I've decided. Yeah. He is ain't thanking you. And so the society fell apart again. As it seems to do when the dead come back. Pardon me, sir, but have you heard the good oh. being fucking rocked by me? Oh, man. Okay, it's time. Six Colossus. That oh jeez, where the fuck did you come from? Fuck off. I wanted the fucking revolver. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Fuck off. Did please. you not see what just happened? <laughs> what? Okay, these zombies are not that strong, or I would not currently be alive. Yeah. I'm calling shenanigans. That's some motherfucking chicanery, I tell you what. Stale skins? Is that is that a new type of zombie, or is that I can't just, tell the difference. Are they just giving... Because they, they've already given them two, like, names, if that's the case. There's the Ever Hungry and the Stale Skins. Okay, I guess there are different kinds of zombies, but I can't tell. Like, it could it could be that there aren't different kinds of zombies, and they're just just different names for the same. Yeah. This oh, looks we're going through the sewers to get to the hospital, huh? <laughs> You're at full health, Doc. Wow. I've got to say, considering like the old timey like gameplay mechanics that they kind of kept in, well, they didn't, they didn't keep them in. That are still in, that <laughs> hadn't fallen by the wayside yet. You know, and like the, the graphics and everything, and you know, just kind of the, the general looseness of what's actually happening. Yeah. Is it still, pr uh, I think, pretty effective horror? Yeah. I think you're going backwards. Yeah, I am. Take the grenades. Like, take them uh, right underneath you. They were, oh, I you took them already? Shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. shit. 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 Oh, Alright. I'll get you through the door. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. It's all fine. Speed run. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably what I'd do in a real zombie apocalypse. Run. <laughs> Hop through the sewers <laughs> with a shovel. You gonna get up? No. Sweet. And yo, Nishin. Or the uh, the the little oh, okay. Yeah, whatever under is under that stairs there can just yeah stay under the stairs. I, I think I'm pretty set for now, unless they were gonna give me a mini gun. Yeah. I don't know. It looked like it might have been a different pistol. It's hard to tell. Body bag. <laughs> Got a body bag. The fact is, man, he can't stand skin. He's too shoot there. I think heads. that's one of the bigger problems of game design is how do you, like, prevent someone from just skipping it all? Yeah. Like, this game, like, it gives you, like, a jump that is pretty damn mobile. And I think that's more for, like, dodging out of the way of attacks and stuff. Or, like, what I think the intention was but it gives me the freedom to just, like, Kinda. dash through the level. Yeah. 
Alright. That was That was awesome. That was pretty satisfying. Damn, I was like looking to hate on this game. Like It's it's pretty fun. I can't I can't I, I can't do it. Like I, I like got this game and was like, oh yeah, these people I used to know played this game and it looked like shit. I can't wait to rip into it. Now I'm playing it. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. I'm I'm wrong. Golf club? Should we do it for science? Do it for science. We'll see how the properties of those moves are. Okay. Four. Uh, that one. What's it wearing? Is that just like winter gear? Or? I don't know. It looks like a, f like a frock or something. Yeah. At first, I thought it was like a spaceman. I don't actually know what a frock looks like, but um. But I assume that's I assume probably what, what she was wearing is what a frock would look like. <laughs> I've never seen a frock in my life, honestly. This part looks kind of familiar, too. Mm hmm. It actually very much does. Boom, boom, boom. Loading the doctor. The doctor. I hope it's the first boss. <laughs> where I fight a supercharged doctor. I hope it's the first boss and you get to fight the doctor. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like a supercharged doctor. The doctor was on the intercom. He had locked himself in a security room. I had to find him. I thought that it would be necessary to find him. I don't want any evidence. <laughs> Coming into the hospital and shooting up the place, you don't want anybody to know. <laughs> I'm armed in a hospital. This is about as incriminating as it can get. And there are dead bodies everywhere. Fuck you! Well, there's bodies everywhere. Anyways. It's naked guy. You see his butt? The naked guy? <laughs> oh, he's gone. Damn it. So... <laughs> that, this is... This is just one of my favorite things that has ever happened. I hate this story. The, so the warrior. God. This is... I used to play Left 4 Dead on Xbox before I got it on the real medium it's supposed to be played on. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> this guy added me and he... Oh, shit. He wouldn't leave me alone ever. Uh, okay. I'll get more space. And, uh, he, uh... He, he would get obsessed with the zombies that have their, the, like, hospital gown. Uh, she just... Yep, she just, she just, she just walked away. She was sick of your shit. <laughs> I think she just forgot what she was doing. Yeah, he, had, he, he did. He had this weird fixation on the zombies in Left 4 Dead, No Mercy, who were wearing the hospital gowns, because he can see their butts. Yep, and he kept calling him the naked guy, and he would not. Oh, shit. He just thought it was hilarious. Yeah. He... And, and it he wasn't never... so much hilarious, but the fact that he found it so hilarious was pretty hilarious. Yeah, that was hilarious. How hilarious he found it. It was also great because he had a really, like, fun accent. <laughs> but he would follow me everywhere. Yeah. And I couldn't be left alone. I had this whole thing where I was nice to everyone. And I wouldn't tell him, hey, this is getting weird, could you stop? Yeah. And, uh, it just kept getting worse. And, uh, yeah. yeah it, was, it, was... it was a great experience. I think everyone should go through that at least once. They're clinging on to the life they don't even have. But, yeah, with, uh, with Warrior, it was a bit like, um, fucking... Roman from Grand Theft Auto. Yes. It was exactly like it that. Was, no, it was... Yeah, it, it was... Dingo, my cousin. <laughs> you want to go bowling? You want to play left for dead? Do you want to play Left 4 Dead? 
Whoa! <laughs> How to make a household pipe bomb. Oh, man. Did you know that you can make napalm out of styrofoam? And... Good thing is I don't actually know the rest of the other thing. Oh, shit! Ah, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Okay. He's not gonna follow you? I got stuck. I could not move. Oh. Well. Well, that's the story of the apocalypse, I think. That's the story of the walking apocalypse.